Hi everyone, this is Menz here, playing the Tier 8 German Heavy Tank, the Tiger II, or also known as the King Tiger on Sacred Valley. Now, this map has been changed in 9.2 update, and hmm, we'll see if it's for better or for worse, but who really knows. I'd like to, I actually liked this map before they took it out of the game. Yeah, it was a little one-dimensional in a way, but at the same time, I still thought it was a pretty decent map. So I'm actually going to focus on the, the northern side of the map, um, only because King Tiger is a little too slow to get down into um, J7 and J8. Uh, basically that edge there, that's where you start getting a bit of cover um, from enemies. Um, it's not as mobile as it used to be, so it really limits where you can go on the map. Especially since you have very weak side armor. Even your frontal armor is a tad weak, and including that lower glacius. Uh, the trick to this tank is basically picking your foes. Um, some people you can just bully around, um, and especially you're decent at mid-range. Um, closer up, people can hit your um, large weak spots, but in the end, um, it all comes down to not biting off more than you can chew in this tank. Okay, they're both going high, so I will stay low. Oh shit. No. If that TD wasn't there, I would have been fine, but once I saw him rolling around, I'm like, fuck. get a little lucky, but no luck there. Here we go. Never fun having a damaged gun, but I can work with it. They do have pretty good penetration, so that does help me out a little bit with this damaged gun. Watch out for the ISU! Come on, take out the TD! There we go! Woo! We should be pretty good now. Nice teamwork, guys. That Comet definitely is a decent player because most people will be like, oh shit, I can't round that corner, I'm gonna get blasted. But he had the HP, he had the backup, might as well just do it. The longer you wait, the worse off it is. Oh fuck, I hit a... <laughs> oh, I did not want to hit my Pershing, but at least I didn't kill him. Uh, 
I got a little bit lucky there. Starting to get a little close since um, our people are still pushing out, but at least we have a decent chunk down there in the south. It'd be very nice if I had a undamaged gun right now. Not exactly sure if if they can see me over there or not. Guessing he can't see me since he is completely oblivious. The hell, I'll take it. I don't want a crest here. So let's see if anyone would fire a shot off quick. Oh no! <laughs> Fucking prototype, he has a lot of DPM. Now that T 32 is over here. I have nowhere else to really run. Hopefully these guys can help out. Try to angle, but I'm probably gonna die here. Mm, nope. Lucky in that building saved me. I was waiting for his little help. Thank you, 110. He's still a very dangerous opponent, especially with us having low HP. Good job. But if you have the numbers, no reason to risk things, so that's why I kind of just fell back. If I had tried to take him on, he would have been able to <laughs> just chew me apart before anyone could help. Overall, a pretty decent match. Um, didn't do the most damage, but 2,495 certainly ain't bad. Definitely more than your HP's worth, which is what I shoot for, and if you want to be a decent player, just kind of shoot for your HP at first, and then work on improving it. Um, overall, blocked a little bit of damage, spot a little bit, but that doesn't really amount to much. 313, and overall, as far as the Tiger II goes, as you see here, it's whole armor. It's mainly just the frontal glacius, and the turret armor, it's okay. It's not very strong, um, so don't expect to hold up against a lot of eats, especially if they're firing premium ammo, they will still go through a lot of your armor, um, but especially if you angle, and since your mantlet does make up a large part of your turret front, you do have decent armor, but it's not the best for a heavy tank, but as far as your large side profile and rear profile, you're armor pretty much sucks there. So that's why you kind of want to be cautious in this tank. You don't want to bite off more than you can chew or get flanked because you will run into trouble, especially with your kind of, kind of sluggish mobility. But anyway, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website, wotguru.com.